Mushroom lovers unite. We are going to be making the easiest creamy vegan mushroom stroganoff. It takes about 30 minutes and yes, if you watch our channel, that means I'm eating dinner alone tonight. Let's go. So the first thing we're gonna do to start this recipe is to cook our noodles. Typically stroganoff is made with egg noodles. Egg noodles are obviously not vegan. So we found this, uh, it says it's a macaroni noodle, but it is long and stringy, so you can use that. But you can also use any pasta. And if you're gluten-free, you can use a gluten-free pasta or you can serve this over rice. So pour your noodles into your boiling water and cook them according to the package. All right, so while your noodles are cooking, you are going to grab your largest pot. You want something with high walls because we are adding a lot of mushrooms and other things into this and you wanna be able to move it around comfortably. And then we are going to melt our butter inside of here. The next thing we're gonna do is add our onions into our skillet. We are using yellow onions, but you can also use sweet onions if you would prefer. And then you are just going to stir those around and saute them for about three to five minutes. You want a nice golden color to start to develop on them before you add anything else. All right, now we're going to add in all of our mushrooms and then you're gonna saute this for about five to seven minutes, you want them to cook down a little bit before we move on. We are using a mixture of white button mushrooms and some cremini mushrooms or baby bellas. We're doing this for the taste difference between the two. The baby bellas are a little bit meatier, whereas the white ones are a little bit more mild in flavor and the two together just taste really great. We're also gonna add a little bit of salt in here to draw out some of the moisture. You can also only use one or the other mushroom. So if you wanna use all white mushrooms or all baby bella mushrooms, feel free to do that. You wanna make sure prior to slicing your mushrooms that you do wash them, but with a damp towel, don't just wash them under the water. That way they don't absorb too much moisture and you have the best taste and not that like chewy rubbery taste that a lot of people don't like mushrooms for. Now we're gonna add in some minced garlic as well as some black pepper and then you're gonna stir that around one more time and let that cook for about a minute. You wanna saute it, but you don't want that garlic to burn inside. All right, so now we're gonna add in some sprigs of thyme as well as our seasonings, which is nutmeg, allspice, and some smoked paprika. And then we are also going to be adding some of our stock. then stir that around. If you have any bits of pieces left on the bottom of your pan, try to scrape those up and get them into the mixture. All right, so the stock that we are using, we actually made with water and then these not beef cubes. Uh, you can use mushroom stock, you can use veggie stock, but traditionally stroganoff is made with beef inside of it, so we wanted to get some of that flavor um, that you would get from that inside of this dish, and this is one way that you can do that. So into a small bowl, we are going to add in some all-purpose flour as well as the remaining part of our stock while we whisk it. You want a really smooth sauce that is not lumpy. You can also use gluten-free all-purpose flour or you can use something like almond flour or chickpea flour here. You're just trying to get something that will create a roux. Into the same bowl, we are going to add some vegan Worcestershire sauce. If you don't have that, you can also do some steak sauce. Most of them are vegan friendly. And then we are also going to add in some Dijon mustard. And then whisk that one more time together. All right, we're just gonna pour our mixture into there and then we're gonna stir it all together and you're gonna let that simmer for about five minutes until it starts to thicken up. It's really important here, you wanna make sure that this is simmering and not any higher than that. You want this to remain saucy, so if at any point your heat is too high, you can add a little bit more stock if you need to, but make sure that you're, you're turning the heat down as well. At this point, you wanna remove the sprigs of thyme and also taste it and adjust for any salt and pepper. All right, so at this point, we are going to remove our skillet from our heat and we are going to add in our sour cream. We're doing that because we don't want this to curdle. You just wanna stir this together until everything is well combined. You don't see any big pieces of the sour cream inside of it. 
Yes, we are using vegan sour cream. I didn't say that and I don't want anybody to say it in the comments, but it is vegan. We are using follow your heart here. Now you're just gonna pour your sauce over top of your cooked noodles or however you're serving it. Top with some fresh parsley or thyme and then it's time to eat. A super delicious, easy pasta recipe in just 30 minutes.